High School, they're in the national spotlight after putting their brains together in a STEM competition and making the semifinals. Super smart, super cool, and they might need your help to make it all the way to the top. So our Randall Newsom got a chance to talk with the teacher and the students putting Center Grove's minds on the map. Football isn't the only area where Center Grove High School has been shining lately. They're building another winning tradition. Their students are starting to make a name for themselves in the world of STEM. Which brings me to this group of kids, bringing the school back to the national spotlight. Uh, well, this is a competition we first entered last year in its 10th year. I challenge them each year with an innovation project. So this is this year's challenge, and this is the group that accepted that challenge. We were looking for a problem in our community that we thought that we could actually solve. A way to battle the impact of carbon monoxide in our neighborhoods. Air pollution was one that we really just narrowed it down to since there is obviously a problem with carbon monoxide in the air. And we know in Indiana, there's not a ton of regulation for car emissions. So we thought that that was a good idea to tackle. And we narrowed it down to a filter that goes on the exhaust and it'll help eliminate carbon monoxide emissions. Last year, Center Grove came close to being the winners of the Solve for Tomorrow competition. This year, they were anxious to get another shot. And when they found out they were going to the semifinals. Uh, you were trying to surprise them, but they said, no, no, we're going to find out before <laughs> you get the surprise out. Yeah, they beat me to the punch. I was trying to get the reaction on video. And we were just kind of looking at it, trying to find last year's. Um, but we were reading through and we we're like, wait, that says 2020 to 2021. So that must be us. So, oh, I guess we made it. Uh, our hard work paid off. Uh, we came up with a really good idea. But yeah, I'd say we were like really surprised. We've been working very hard on this. And um, I think with a, with a little bit more work, I think our chances are fairly good. We're all very hardworking students and we've been putting a lot of time into this and a lot of thought. Now, if they make it to the next round, they'll need Hoosiers to step up and support. If we're in the top 10, there's a community choice award. And so the more people that vote for our video, um, that could increase the prize package to our students. So um, if we do get into that next round, we do need uh, Indiana support in voting for the kids' videos. After all, these kids are motivated by a chance to help their own community. I think our solution for this problem is heading in the right direction to make a good impact in our community. I mean, if you support us, I mean, it would mean a lot to us because I feel like we've been working on it for a while now and it would really be nice to have our, our work kind of pay off in the end. And if you needed more convincing, <laughs> this group definitely has the energy to take this STEM competition by storm. Guys, good luck. Congratulations on everything you've accomplished so far. For Wish TV's All Indiana, I'm Randall Newsom.